So this is the Pu'u Honua. This is where, if you made it, if you committed a crime, and you actually made it here, then you would be absolved of your crime. Mm -hmm. And the only punishment in Hawaiian was death. It didn't matter if you had a fruit out of season or if you killed someone. Same punishment. But if you were able to make it here, you were absolved. Do I need to go to the Buanua? <laughs> we all need to go to the Buanua. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I look as frightening. <laughs> Been 20 nights and 20 days Lost without a friendly face No reflection from my soul Emptiness is rising tall Calling to my brighter side Wishing for a place to hide A place to leave the dark in me Welcome to Hu Hunua O How Now Now. And as you can see, that means that we are in our four month of peacetime. Hu Uho Nua. Hu Uho Nua. Okay. Only royalty can. For 20 nights and 20 days, I was drifting out of space. I turned away from every sound, from everything that shook my ground. Jason Zimmer on the park service. I'm known as Ranger JZ. I go by my initial because it sounds a lot cooler. <laughs> JZ sounds way cooler. And, and what this parking does is it creates a slight pause in between those two letters. So instead of the who would be who who. Okay? So the who who. So who who honua. Then of course the easiest part is the O. Well, right above this other O, you see a line over the top, and that is known as a kako. And what this does is it extends the sound of that particular letter slightly. So instead of the ho, it would be ho. Okay, so we extend it a little bit longer. So it would be ho, now, now. Okay, so ho, now, now. Okay, let's try it real quick. So, hu, 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 Okay, so now you guys know how to say it correctly. <laughs> Practice it. Um, whenever you have free time, <laughs> during your meals. So this is the temple model. Yeah. Okay. okay, this is Ka Noa. These bowls carved into rock may have been used for dyeing kapa, which is a bark cloth, canning fishing nets, or pounding awa root to make a ceremonial drink. You can see the bowls. Mm -hmm. This Hawaiian strategy game is played with black and white pebbles on a papa mu stone plane surface. Papa mu can be any size and it goes into a lava surface. If you'd, ask, if you'd like to play code on a, ask for rules of the visitor center. <laughs> oh. Uh. When hot lava surrounds a living tree, moisture in the tree causes the lava to harden before it burns. Sometimes this leaves tree molds like you see here. Many molds in the park are of lolu palms. Lolu were once a but now are in danger. So this is Keone Lake. 
This protected cove was Kapu. Only Ali'i could land canoes here, at times Honu, which were sea turtles, rest on the shore. Hmm. And we saw these beautiful yellow tangs out there swimming in the bay. You can see you them. You can see them contrasted against the black lava rock below. Yeah. They just hang out right by the beach. Yeah. It's really cool. And this is the Great Wall. <laughs> it's up to 12 feet tall, 18 foot wide, and over 950 feet long. And this wall defines the sacred space of the Pa'uahona. This wall was constructed over 400 years ago using Ahu Humu Hokahu, which is dry set masonry, stones fitted without mortar. And you can see that. There's no mortar. So this is the Hale o Kiawe. And this Heahu was a royal mausoleum housing bones of 23 Ali'i, including, I am not even going to try to say that name, <laughs> but Kamehameha's great grandfather. And these bones give the Heahu immense mana. Hawaiians still revere this place, and sometimes they hold Ho'okupu offerings on the lake. And you can see that there's they, offerings on there. Yeah, there's a papaya. Hmm. Yeah. And the wooden images are ki'i, representing Hawaiian gods. So this is the Pu'u Honua. This is where, if you made it, if you committed a crime, and you actually made it here, then you would be absolved of your crime. And the only punishment in Hawaiian was death. It didn't matter if you ate a fruit out of season or if you killed someone. Same punishment. But if you were able to make it here, you were absolved. Do I need to go to the Buanua? <laughs> we all need to go to the Buanua. <laughs> so this is the Ke'o'ua stone. According to local tradition, this was a favorite resting place of the Ke'o'ua, a high chief. It says that uh, you can see there's some holes here, mm -hmm. right down here where I'm pointing, and then there's another one back over here, but it says that that may have been um, dug in so they could have a coconut cover, cover to um, give them mm. some shade. And what was this used for? Resting place. Just chief a resting place? place. The chief would sit and do what you were doing a minute ago. Just look. Just look. Maybe try again. These are the royal fish ponds. And these um, Unkianle pools held fish to be eaten by the Ali'i. This is a halau. In ancient times, this structure would have been made of ohia wood tied with cord and thatched with peely grass. Today it serves as a halau, waha, or canoe house. Artisans work in the smaller halau. Hmm. Yeah, this one will primarily serve as like a windbreaker. Hmm. Get the sun off your back. <laughs> it's from the wind. It's really useful if you're find yourself on a long distance canoe voyage. Ah. <laughs> so save your life out there. Keep the sun off of you. Keep the sun off the shoulders and the back. Yeah. Keep you from flying. Keep you from getting windbreak too. Yeah. Yes. It's designed to kind of wrap around the body. Yeah. The repetition. <laughs> right. Uh -huh. So you create all this and then you're tying those yeah, on. Yeah, you'll make the mesh first. And you can yeah, you can absolutely use um, like a twist or a plait. Uh -huh. To make the cordage, make your mesh, and then yeah, then you take the strands of fiber and attach it to, to the mesh. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. Remember when